Most people are afraid of court. Understandably so. I get it. When you go into a collection lawsuit case and you're at the courthouse, there's 60 people in there. There's 60 cases to be called by that judge. Maybe two lawyers in there. All you gotta do is you gotta be better than the other 59 and you're gonna get a better result. There are thousands of these lawsuits filed a day. The problem is the people that are being sued have never been told. You don't have to go in and hand over all your stuff. You have, you have defenses that you can assert. Sometimes there's a few, sometimes there's a lot. But the frustration I have is the consumer base has no idea that they can defend themselves. Can you imagine being sued and feeling like you have no recourse? You have no way of fighting these guys off. You have no defenses. But the reason you gotta have a lawyer in a collection case is the creditor typically is gonna rely on my client, the defendant, to prove the case. I never bring my client to court because if my client comes in the court, he or she is going to answer the question, do you owe the money? Affirmatively, assuming they owe the money, and they will lose the case. So if they're not present, the other side has to prove the case using their own documents and their own materials, which they typically don't have. It's not about whether you actually owe the money. It's not about facts in these cases. It's about what can be proven and many times they can't prove up their cases. Any litigation is about risk assessment. The more risk you can create for a creditor that they're not going to win, or they're more importantly, not gonna get paid, then the better success you're gonna have. That's why you need to hire a lawyer. That's why you need to get somebody like Fitzgerald and Campbell. We successfully get cases dismissed on a regular basis because the creditors know that they're gonna have to work for it.